We are in Shushui area in Zululand. We are at Tumazulu. This is the traditional village, which is a living village. It's the only village now left in Zululand. And we're trying to keep it as a living village because everything is still operating as before. It's not like a demonstration, it's a living village. People are staying in the village here. Yeah? So this is the village that we have here yeah, at Zululand. Um, our stations here at the village, uh, it's more interesting. The first one is a spear station. You need to know how to make a spear. Where did you get that wood, the strong and iron wood? Because it's not easy to break it. How to make a spear? You sharpen a spear on the fire. You know, it's a history. You know, sometimes people don't believe. But if you see it now, you can see, oh, okay, how to make a spear. Then I've got uh, the beadwork, where we made our bead so we look pretty, especially the women's. You know, before there were no bead. We're using a, a certain seed, call it ulosis in Zulu, to make the, the, the bead. It's very important um, to learn and see uh, how the Zulu people lived before, because now it's a bit changed. But it's important to learn because there was no education. So we're trying to tell people how are we, how we were educated as young growing with the culture to write, to read, to respect and, and life itself. So we're trying to do that. So it's more important to know about the Zulu culture. It was difficult culture, but it's more interesting to learn about. And on the shield, uh, you need to take like a cow skin, an ox skin, because an ox skin is very thicker than the other ones and it's also strong so if somebody is stabbing with a spear the spear can't go through because it's very thick the skin we only use the ox skin except the wedding shield which is a small one you know it's you can take from any other cows then because it's not even thick and it mustn't be heavy when you're using it And I've got Inyanga and the Sangoma. There's a difference between Inyanga and the Sangoma. The Sangoma is the fortune teller. Inyanga is the one that's dealing with the herbs, the one that can heal you if you're sick. So that's where the difference is. It's a clay pot. We made up with a clay. We the river bank. We used to put so we've got the pot, you but can cook with that pot, you can boil it with the pot, and also we use that to fetch water on the river with that clay pot. We do the stick fight on weddings, the Zulu wedding. And when you do this stick fight, the minute you, you hit the somebody, then you are a hero on that wedding. So yeah, we demonstrate how it was done. If you think a real man, you need to fight. But with a stick fight, you need to fight and say, okay, this man is brave. That's how we demonstrate him. Yeah. The dancing is our celebration. After everything, it's either it's a war or a wedding or what. The minute you see people dancing, then you're celebrating. There is different of dance. Uh, so there's a ladies dance, there's a men's dance. But here we're doing like a men's dance. The ladies are here to sing, to support this dance and the drum. But as you can see, after the whole show, then we're dancing. That's how we thank people, we celebrate. That's how we dance. That's our Zulu dance. very important because it just tells you how is the culture and how people were living before and this was lovely so it tells you more about the culture okay these people living in this life let's just not forget about it <laughs>